But uh, I wonder what the offer is for Chark on the table right now. Because if I'm the Panthers, what's stopping me from giving him a multi-year contract? I don't think really nothing. At the same rate, if not a million or a million and a half more than the Lions, to just force his hand and have him come to Carolina. Because I'm drafting a rookie quarterback. All he has is Adam uh, Adam Thielen right now. Right. Terrence Marshall hasn't amounted to anything out of LSU in his what his second year, so he's going into his third year now. Mm-hmm. He hasn't done much. You have an offensive line that's okay. A running back group that's fine. Rookie quarterback's going to want weapons. It's not the best wide receiving uh, class in free agency. It's not the best wide receiving class in the draft. I think you can make an argument DJ's the best wide receiver available in free agency. I wonder who's still available right now. I'll check for you. Let me know because for the Lions, you're going to want to sign him on a one-year deal. Yeah, because the guys that were available this year, El Lazard, Jacoby Myers, Juju, Robert yeah. Woods, like it's McCole a garbage. Hardman. It's a garbage it's, free agency class. It's not class. a great class. So DJ Chark to me is the best, and if I'm if I'm the Panthers, it's obvious. I'm, I'm trying to get DJ Chark, but again, if you're DJ, one thing he pointed out when he first got to Detroit is, I've had a different OC every year I've been in the league. And even dating back to college, he's essentially had different OCs every year he's played football, from the collegiate level to the NFL level. Maybe he's interested in now retaining and having the same OC for the second year with Ben Johnson. So for him, the fit makes sense. For the Lions, the fit makes sense. But the dollars got to make sense. I mean, the chickens got to make sense. So Brad Holmes has to figure that out. And again, I, I think you can figure it out, but I don't know what he's asking for. So I have uh, some speak easy. Uh, easy says, receivers. I heard Clark Go and Chiefs it. might reunite. Yes. Frank, someone asked me about Frank Clark the other day. The Frank Clark stuff is, I mean, he's... Go for it, JB. Who do we got? Uh, you're not going to like any of these names, so I can tell you that right now. Kenny Galladay. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I'd rather... <laughs> uh... You know, I'd rather not say what I'd rather have happen to me, but move on. Nelson Aguilar. Who? <laughs> Marvin Jones. Julio Jones. No. Nikhil Harry. No. Jarvis Ooh. Landry. No. Sammy Watkins is still out here. None of them serve... None of them do what you would want DJ Chark to do in this offense. You have Amon Ross St. Brown. You're expecting Jameson Williams to have a big impact this season. You still have Josh Reynolds, who has great rapport with Jared Goff. You have Khalif Raymond. They all do different things. What you want is a guy that's going to line up on the outside yep. and stretch the field. That's it. Pay DJ Chark. One-year contract. No problem. They have a lot of cap space available. Do they sign a multi-year? I don't know. I hope so. Because, uh, again, you, you want to lock him up. I don't think he's going to ask for a ton. But again, I think he has the leverage here, DJ Chark, because he has multiple suitors. He hasn't unfollowed the Lions. He still has the Lions in his bio on Instagram. So I think he's interested in reuniting, but the money's got to make sense.